Hey everybody, Dawson again with Chaos Fragrances. Today we're back with another fragrance video. This time we're going to be taking a look at two different fragrances and comparing them. We're going to be comparing Parfums Vintage Emperor Extrait and we're going to be comparing Mont Blanc Explorer. So why did I pick these two fragrances? Well, there's a reason for that. On one end, on this kind of designer end here with Mont Blanc Explorer, you know, people for whatever reason have been saying that this is the best Aventus clone out there. And a lot of you know how I feel about that remark because I have done a review on this one. So if you would like to check that video out first, you may do so, but I'm just gonna leave it at that. People are saying that this is one of the best Aventus clones out there. If you look on For Grant Together, a ton of raving reviews. I'm not sure about what people on YouTube are saying about it because I haven't watched any of the YouTube reviews on this one. And why did I pick Emperor Extrait? Well, because on this end, on the more niche end of things here, a lot of people have been saying that this is the best Aventus clone out there. So, you know, I'm kind of trying to compare best of both worlds here. We got, you know, a more affordable designer fragrance here of Aventus, and we have a little bit more expensive niche version here of Aventus. And one more thing here, really quickly before we jump into the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Also turn on post notifications so you don't miss an I post and like the video. Try to put out as much informative, fun content as I can. So all I ask for in return is a simple subscribe. And of course, while you're at it, you can check out my second channel link down below if you're into financial related stuff. I post videos on that type of thing there. So you can check that out and subscribe as well. So let's go and jump right into the comparison. I've got one sprayed on this wrist and I've got one sprayed on this wrist. So we're pretty much ready to roll here, boys. And we're gonna go and start off comparing the openings. And with Mont Blanc Explorer here, the opening of this one kind of starts off sour a little bit to me. I'm not really sure what is in there that makes it sour. And one thing I will say is Aventus sometimes can be kind of sour smelling on my skin. So no, before everyone gets their uh, hating keyboards ready here, I'm not just saying that to bash this fragrance, saying that it smells sour in the opening because I get a similar sort of thing from Aventus sometimes as well. And like I said, I'm not really sure what is in there that causes that, but I do pick up on a little bit of that from Mont Blanc Explorer. One thing I'll also say about Explorer is this one is a little bit dry. And that's something that I mentioned in my review. And in that review, I said I got that like dry smell mostly in the dry down. But now that I've been coming back to this one and revisiting it here before I made this video, I've realized that I kind of pick up on that like dry quality throughout the whole thing, even in the opening. There isn't much of a vibrant, juicy quality in the opening of this scent like I get from Aventus. And to be completely honest, that's a pretty big bummer because Aventus smells incredible in the opening. And for a lot of people, that's really all they chase after um, is the opening of Aventus. That's why there are all these batch variations out there. People looking for older batches, people looking for newer batches, whatever the case may be. And generally when it comes down to it, and this is coming from someone who owns like five different batches, uh, the dry down is going to be mostly the same. Uh, the opening is what's going to be different when it comes to these batch variations. Some are going to be more pineapple heavy, some are going to be more or bergamot black currant heavy it really just depends uh, but here with Mont Blanc Explorer I really don't get any of that I don't get a nice vibrant opening what I get is like an ambroxan and like woody opening with like a little bit of a sour quality now let's go and move into Emperor Extrait the opening of this one is in a better direction this one does have a little bit more of a fruity opening to it, still not as much as some of the other Parfums Vintages fragrances out there. For example, Pineapple Vintage Intense. That one has a very, very bright pineapple opening. This one doesn't really get as close to that, but it still does have a little bit more of a vibrant opening than Explorer does. Basically, what their goal with Emperor Extrait was to target the nice balanced batches of Aventus. So, no, this doesn't have an overly bright opening, but it also doesn't have a very dark opening either. It kind of goes right in the middle. Is Emperor Extrait my favorite Aventus fragrance from Parfums Vintage? Honestly, to me, it's really not. I prefer Pineapple Vintage Intense over this one. I prefer Vanilla Intense over this one. I do really like Emperor Extrait right here, um, and it does target those balanced batches very well, but it's just not my personal favorite. Now let's go and talk about the dry downs of these fragrances with Explorer. Uh, like I was talking about at the beginning of the video, I get even more of that dry quality and a lot of ambroxan. And this is why I'm so let down with this fragrance. You know, the opening, again, it's not very bright, but it doesn't smell too bad. You know, there is a little bit something going on. It does kind of catch my attention a little bit, but this dries down to basically nothing. There's like this very faint, dry, woody quality with a little bit of ambroxan. And to be 100% honest with you, that's really all I get in the dry down of this scent. 
So does this get close to Aventus in the opening? Yeah, it does a little bit. Maybe like darker batches of Aventus with hardly any, you know, citrus pop in the opening. Yeah, it kind of gets there. I can see the comparison. But in the dry down, it's basically nothing at all like Aventus. It really just kind of falls flat from there and it's very disappointing. I definitely think they could have done better here with this scent overall and especially in the dry down because it basically dries down to nothing and at that point I would rather scrub it off than smell it. And again, I'm not trying to bash on this fragrance here. I'm not trying to give it, you know, a bad review. I'm just being honest with you here. But I know there are some diehard fans of this one, so for those of you out there who like this scent, that's awesome. You know, keep wearing it, keep enjoying it. That's great to hear. It's just not something that I'm personally going to be wearing or really enjoying. And the dry down of Emperor Extrait, this one stays in that kind of dark woody genre. You pick up on a lot of birch and some musk. Uh, the dry down of this one is pretty solid. Again, out of the other Parfums Vintage Fragrances, not my favorite. Uh, but this one is definitely far better than the dry down of Explorer. Let's go and talk about performance on both of these. And we'll just go ahead and stick with Emperor Extrait here while I'm talking about it. Performance on this one is excellent. You know, longevity, over 10 plus hours on my skin. Being that this is the extrait, this one is going to last longer than the Eau de Parfum. So where it comes to projection, it doesn't really project out as much as the Eau de Parfum. But it does last significantly longer on skin than the EDP does. So when it comes down to it, you really have to pick and decide for yourself whether you want more projection, more longevity. There is also a little bit of a difference in smell. So that's something you're going to have to decide for yourself. Talking about the performance on Explorer right here. This one, not really the best. Longevity, about six hours or so on my skin. Projection pushes out a little bit, uh, but really, you know, it's nothing to write home about. If this one had extremely strong performance, then, you know, maybe I would like it a little bit better because at least have something good going for it. You know, it would kind of get in that same ballpark as Aventus in terms of performance, but it doesn't even do that very well. So now let's go and talk about which one of these I would recommend. If it wasn't obvious already, you may be thinking, you know, oh, it's definitely going to be Emperor Extrait. But honestly, maybe not necessarily. And hear me out here. If you're looking for something that is close to Aventus and you want like an Aventus clone, then yeah, I would go with Emperor Extrait. But if you're not looking for an Aventus clone, but you do want something that smells decent, has good versatility, and will get you decent compliments, then maybe you can go with Explorer. Like I've said here, I'm not trying to bash this fragrance and drag it through the mud and say it's crap. A lot of the reason here why I don't like this one so much is because it's not that close to Aventus, and there are a lot of reviews out there saying that it is very close to it, and you know, it's just something that when I smelled it, I was completely let down because it's not that close to Aventus. But on its own, it still does smell all right. So again, just to reiterate, if you're after an Aventus smelling fragrance, definitely go with Emperor Extrait or one of the other ones from Parfums Vintage. But if you're after something that's affordable, smells good, and will get you compliments, and you're not really worried about getting all that close to Aventus, then you can go with Explorer. This one's gonna do good in that category. You're gonna get a lot of compliments from it. It's gonna be versatile. You can wear it for whatever situation. It can be good for dates, to work, and whatever. Overall, I think this fragrance is gonna please a lot of people more specifically outside of the fragrance community. So for the average consumer out there who is looking for something that smells good and is easy to wear and versatile, this one is gonna really check those boxes for those people. But when it comes to the collectors and the enthusiasts, you know, I really don't think this one is going to impress that many people. But hey, this one is still solid enough um, when you look at it for what it was probably intended to be, which was a versatile compliment getting fragrance. So guys, that's going to do it for this video. That's comparing the best uh, designer clone of Aventus right here, Explorer, and the best niche clone of Aventus, which is Emperor Extrait right here. Do I think this one is the best Aventus clone? Honestly, for me personally, no, I don't. There are other ones from... There are other ones I prefer from Parfums Vintage. Do I think this is the best Aventus clone? Absolutely not. I wouldn't consider this one Aventus clone, to be honest with you. But like I've said, on its own, it's not all that bad. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know down in the comments. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss an I post. And guys, of course, you know, I can't leave without plugging chaosfragrances.com. If you want to pick up Mont Blanc Explorer for yourself, you can go check it out there on the website along with over a thousand other designs, all of which are at very competitive prices. I offer fast free shipping on orders over $35, so it's really a steal. And again, if it's something that you're looking to pick up some bottles for yourself, you can go check out my website. And now that's out of the way, I'm going to go and let you guys go. I'm out. See you later.